Welcome to this video in which I will demonstrate how to build an MRM file in the Modbus slave. Now this MRM file is a Modbus request map. So let's get started. First of all, what's the purpose of our MRM? The purpose of it is to create a map or a cross-reference table within the Modbus slave that allows specific Modbus registers to be referenced to X series app array registers. So it actually creates got like a cross-reference table. So let's get started. First, as we can see here, we go to our Modbus slave COM port and we can see several tabs across the top. Setup, advanced. These have to do with setting up our connectivity between the slave and the host. The third one, register map, is where we're going to be working today. This is where we actually create our MRM file. Now the scenario we're working on today is we're actually going to map some of the flow measurement registers. Specifically we're going to map flow rate which is 11719, differential pressure 11.70, static pressure of 11.30, and temperature of 11.33. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we can see our interface here. We can determine if uh, what the register type is. In this case, they are floats. And so we will select float. We do want a list type map. We're going to start our registers at 7001. That's okay. But we're going to have four of them. So let's put a four here and press send. This is going to bring a pop-up box that asks us to go ahead and name our file. Let's call it slave. Say OK. Now notice it brought four different registers over here, Modbus registers, for us to input. So let's go ahead and remember our registers that we did. DP is 11.70. Static pressure was 11.30. Temperature was 11.33 and flow rate was 11.719. So now when we select send, we've actually created our file. And this is all we need to do to create a map file within our Modbus slave. This concludes the video. Thanks for listening.